So once you have the tablet put together, then we're going to turn it on. So to turn it on, remember the power button is up here. Once you get to the screen where you see the logo and the time, you have two ways that you can go into the login. Here it tells you that you can press and hold the Windows button and then press the power button. So this is in case you don't have the keyboard handy, the Windows button is this button over here. And then the power button would be up here. So if I hold those two together, then I get the warning and the OK button to log in. Alternatively, if I am not going to use the, the Windows and power button up here, I can use the keyboard, like it says on the screen, to log into the tablet. So I can go ahead and use Control, Alt, and then Delete. And here I'll be able to log in. Before I log into the tablet, I want to make sure that I'm logged into VPN. This way I'll be able to receive any security updates and also be able to connect properly to the Exchange server so I can receive emails through Outlook. So in order to make sure that I'm logged in properly to VPN, I'm going to hit the back button here. And I know I'm in the right place because I see two user icons. So here's other user and other user. You see the larger character other user and then the smaller character other user. So what I'll do next is I'm going to click here where you see two computer screens and I'll bring it close so you could see. You'll see that um, also when you hover over it, it's going to say network sign in. But again, it looks like two overlapping monitor screens. So I'll click that. And I'll see the Cisco ball. And you'll see Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. I'm going to click that. And it's going to say connecting, please wait. And now I'm going to have two things that I can log into. Make sure that you first connect to a network. In order to do that, you can select it here, find your Wi-Fi network, and then enter the password when you're prompted to enter the password for the network. If you're having issues with connecting to the network, just make sure that your Wi-Fi is enabled. Sometimes it'll say enable wireless here. So if it says enable wireless, that means that your wireless was disabled. Here, my wireless is enabled because I have the option to disable it if I want to, but I don't want to disable it. I'm going to keep it enabled so that way I'm connected to the Wi-Fi here at the Miami chapter. It's called Cloud MIA. So I'm connected and I know that I'm connected because I see the bars here for the Wi-Fi connection. So again, do this first before you try to connect to VPN. Um, in another video, you're going to see the option to connect to Ethernet through the dongle for the Ethernet cable. So if you are having trouble with Wi-Fi and connecting to Wi-Fi on your tablet, then you'll be able to use the Ethernet dongle in order to connect to the internet so that you can later connect to VPN. So now that I'm connected to either Wi-Fi or connected to the internet via an Ethernet cable, I will now hit connect on the VPN lock. I'll be able to sign in. Just make sure that the group that you have here is ARC, HQ, and BIO. And your username is going to be your Red Cross email address. My password is going to be my regular password that I use to log into email and um, the exchange. So I'll type that in now. Once you type in your password, hit OK. And then accept. Now we're back to the screen where you saw the two other user characters, the large other user character and the small other user character. Um, for our purposes, we need to use the small other user character to log into the tablet. Now that I'm connected to VPN and to um, the internet, I'm going to log in as myself. Once I enter my username and password, then I'm going to hit submit by clicking the right pointing arrow. If you're preparing to teach a class and you're going to be using your tablet, make sure that you do this first so that way you're not waiting for your tablet to come on and your students might be waiting.